In the, this tutorial, I'm going to take a look at uh, horizontal translations of y equals x squared. But this actually pertains to any function, um, how the equation tells you which way to move. So it doesn't actually just pertain to parabolas. You could use it on other functions as well. So, But I am talking specifically about parabolas here. So um, I'm going to start with where actually we get the original uh, black colored parabola here. And the equation is y equals x squared. And now I've used x values from negative 2 to 2. You can use different numbers. The reason I've used negative 2 to 2 is because it does show you where the uh, vertex is and some points on either side of it, which is more the most interesting part of a parabola. So, uh, so that's why I've used negative 2 to positive 2. So I'm going to bring my calculator over here. And maybe we'll put it right there. So uh, we, uh, y is equal to x squared. So we take the x coordinate substitute in here, square it, and that gives us the y value. Now, in most calculators, you can't do that. Because that's actually just squaring the 2, and then that is making it negative. We're actually squaring negative 2. So you'd have to type it in in most calculators like that. Okay, so that's where the positive 4, because remember negative 2 squared means negative 2 times negative 2 to give you positive 4. So the uh, next one, negative 1 squared, and you only have to worry about uh, putting the brackets around when the base is negative, uh, is, is positive 1. So 0 squared, we don't have to use brackets, is 0. Uh, next 1 squared is that 1. And then 2 squared is 4. So that's where the uh, 41014 points come from, uh, y coordinates come from. Now let's get rid of the calculator. Now negative 2, 4 is uh, the coordinates of a point. So at the origin, we go left 2, that's the negative 2, and up 4, so that's the point right there. Negative 1, 1, go left 1, up 1, 0, 0 is the origin. 1, 1 would be to the right 1, up 1, and 2, 4 would be from the origin to the right 2, and up 4, that point. And so that's the original standard parabola that hasn't been changed in any way. So now I want to talk about equations and why the equation looks like the way it does. Because one of the things that, um, that we see is that when students look at the equation, they often think it translates in the wrong direction. It goes left instead of right or vice versa. So the, uh, the green parabola here is the black parabola just shifted three units to the right. And I put some arrows on here. I didn't shift every point because it would get way too busy here. So for example, negative 2, 4 is that point. So we shift it 1, 2, 3 to the right. And that would be that point there, which is the point 1, 4. So negative 2, 4 becomes 1, 4 when we shift it 3 units to the right. Uh, this point here, which is the negative 1, 1 point, goes 1, 2, 3 to the right. So that's the point 1, 2, sorry, 2, 1, to the right, 2, up 1. So negative 1, 1 becomes 2, 1. So notice when we shift to the right, you see the y coordinates staying the same because we haven't gone up or down. We're just shifting to the right. Um, the 1 is still 1. Now, what we've really done by shifting to the right is we've added 3 to the x coordinate. So negative 2 plus 3 is 1. Negative 1 plus 3 is 2. So that's why 0, 0 shifts into that point. So 0, 0 becomes 3, 0. So I've added 3 to the x. Same, um, and actually this is one of the arrows here. This is the 1, 1 point. It shifts to over here. So that's 4, 1. So again, the y coordinate stays the same. 1 plus 3 is 4. In the last one, 2 plus 3 is 5. So that's the point that shifts into the point 5, comma 4. So the, these two tables are the same. The, the y coordinates are the same. It's just the x values have all been increased by 3. Now, to get the equation of this new parabola, um, See, the equation says to get the y value, we square something. Okay, uh, In this one, it was just x squared. But notice I've added 3 to all the x's. So in, in order to get the right number to square, to get 4 and 1 and 0 and 1 and 4, because I've added 3 to all these, what I have to do in the equation is I have to, and I'm going to bring the equation down now. It's right there. Uh, I have to subtract 
3 from all these x's because you see when I shifted it I added 3 so if I subtract 3 that's why there's an x minus 3 in here then I will actually be squaring the right number to get the y coordinate so for example the 1 here maybe I'll bring the calculator back see in the brackets here if I take that 1 and subtract 3 from it and square it I do get the 4 see this 2 the x coordinates 2 because we shifted it 3 to the right so if I take that 2 and subtract 3 and square it I get 1 um, this next one you see it's 3 minus the 3 squared to get the 0 okay so so that's why the equation has an x minus 3 in it because when we subtract 3 from each of these x values then we're actually squaring the right number to get that y um, what's actually in the brackets here see that's actually negative 2 that's negative 1 that 0 that actually you see after you do this subtracting 3 you actually get these old numbers from the original see this one here when I do the uh, 5 minus 3 well, maybe I won't, I won't square it yet see that actually gives me 2 which is that positive 2 and then 2 squared gives me the 4 okay so that's why there's an x minus 3 in the uh, brackets for the equation here see a lot of students look at this and say well okay it's x is x minus 3 so it should go to the left but the it's minus 3 in there because when we translated it we added 3 to the x's so I have to do the opposite of adding 3 to get the right number so when I square I get 4 and 1 and 0 1 and 4 so um, so it's actually because of what we did to x when we moved it it's not really what sh what the the minus 3 is kind of like a compensating factor I added 3 to all the x's so in order to get the right it to work out right I'd have to subtract 3 in the equation like do the opposite so x mi y equals x minus 3 squared is a shift to the right of 3 see it's it's actually x minus some number that number tells you how much it shifted to the right now let's take a look at the orange one uh, the same the same thing is true when you go to the left so I've shifted everything to the left is, is that's what this uh, 2 is showing here with the arrows so for example that uh, negative 2 4 point which was right there has gone uh, 2 to the left so that point right there would be negative 4 4 so the negative 2 4 became negative 4 4 uh, this point here uh, shifted two to the left so that point there is negative three one so negative one one became negative three one so again all the x's I subtracted two subtracted two see zero subtracted two is negative two one subtract two is negative one two subtract two is zero okay so that's and that would be that point right there so because I've subtracted two to get all the x's in order to get the right number so when I square I get these I'll bring the equation down here now so I would have to add 2 to each of these so that when I square I still get 4 and 1 and 0 and 1 and 4 okay so maybe I'll bring the calculator back for a moment here okay so if I take that negative 4 and add 2 see so that's that's see that's the negative two here. Maybe I'll move over just a little more. So see that's the negative two, and then when we square that negative two, we get the correct y value. Okay. So you see negative three plus two. See that's negative one. So I've got the right value to square to get one, because when we square negative one, we get positive one. Okay. So and of course, and maybe I'll do the whole thing in one step here for this one. See, it's negative two. So I'm again, I'm adding two, squaring it. So that gives me the zero. Uh, the next one is negative one plus two squared to give me that one. And I may as well do the last one. Zero plus two squared. See, we're squaring two then, so it gives me four at the end. So move this off here so again the x plus 2 is there because when I shifted it I subtracted 2 to the x's so I have to do the opposite so when I'm squaring I still get the right y coordinate okay now 
I said over here that it's x minus 3, so it goes 3 to the right. See, we could we could rewrite, see, instead of writing x plus 2, you could, we don't normally do this because it's kind of like making it less simple. It's more a little bit more complicated, but you can think of x plus 2 as x subtract negative 2. Remember, the double negative turns into a plus. So if you think of it that way, so I'm, I'm kind of writing this in the same form as this. It's x minus something. It's x minus negative 2. See, the negative 2 means I've gone to the left. Just like this one, x minus 3 means I've gone 3 to the right. See, three, the th number 3 is positive, so I'm going to the right. The negative 2 is negative, so I'm going to the left. Okay. So if uh, I'm going to put up a summary here. So if h is a positive number, okay. so if h is a positive number, x minus h has moved 8 units to the right, just like the x minus 3 one was x plus h squared, again, if h is a positive number, is moved h units to the left. Okay, again, if h is some positive number. Okay, so that's a bit of a summary for that. So, so that's why the equation looks like that. Because when we shifted it, we added or subtracted a number, so you have to do the opposite in the equation to end up squaring to get the right y-coordinate. So that's that's basically the idea here and why it appears to go in the opposite direction what the equation is telling you, but it's actually there is a reason why it seems to be the opposite. And that's the end of the tutorial.